Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to teach you all how to make this kind of dental cornish or you can say an Islamic cornish. Right? It is very easy, you must have learned how to make a simple cornish, right? But if you have this kind of design, dental, uh, let me show you more clearly image, yeah, this kind. If you have this kind of dental ear cornish, or how to make dental cornish, or instead of this dental, if you have something like more design of the cornish, reputation of design of the cornish, so how to make that reputation of design of the cornish? Today I'm going to teach you all. I'm going to make this dental, but in place of dental, you can you can use the same step what I'm showing you, and you can put your design, you can implement your design, you can create your own design to make any kind of creative Islamic cornish or designing cornish. So without wasting mother for further more time, right? I'll, I'll tell you one more thing to be with me till the end. I'll try my best to explain step by step so you can understand very easily and you can create your own cornish by yourself. So let's jump to our rabbit. Yeah, friends, we are on our rabbit. So let's start. This is my previous work. I'll just close this. So before that, I'll open the file, new file, family type. I'll go to English, open. Then I'll go to gen metric, generic, model, face, base. I'll click this, I'll open this. So I got my new page. Okay, let me close my previous one. This is my previous one. Okay, I close it. I don't want to save this. That's clear. So I've got my page over here so let me start now over here so before that before that i will do one thing i'll uh, take a reference plane r p okay click over here and draw a reference plane this side so i've got a reference plane let me take a measurement from here so this it gives me around 2416 i'm working in millimeters so that is right. Okay, I'll go to this. I'll make a uh, create a parameter. Parameter is with so w i d t h. So I create with over here. Now I've got a reference plane one, reference plane two. So I will do. I will create a create a swip over here because I have to create a so let me create a swipe, then sketch a path. Okay, I can't pick up, but I have to create a sketch path over here. So from here, I'll create from this line to this reference plane. Okay, two, three times escape. Then let me go for a line, I'll align this reference plane to this point and I'll lock it. Then I'll select this reference plane to this point and I will lock it. So I got my so let me finish this off and finish then let me select profile edit profile the repeat will ask me whether I have to work on left elevation or right elevation any one of the elevation is okay for now I'm going to work on left elevation so open view so here I got my left elevation so after coming from here let me insert let me insert because so we are over here. Let me draw the let me draw the the so a cornish. Yeah. So this is my base. So this is the base of the wall and the ceiling. So this is the base of the wall and the ceiling. So it will be around 20 by 10. So here modeling. Yes. I'll take over here from here 20 minus 200 and 10 means 100 so this is the okay this way so basically my triangle will come i'll split this so let me start i'll start from this bottom over here that's from the so let me take from here 10 1 then Okay, and I'll take an arch. I'll take an arch. Okay, then I'll take a straight line. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Then I'll do the arch. I'll go here for something like a T. Come here. Then I'll up. Come here and come here and close and close over here. So this is my cornish. Alright, so this is my outline of the cornish. As you can see, okay, everything is fine as far as okay, then let me close it. Okay, then let me, let me close it. Let me see in 3D how it really looks. Okay, it's fine, not an issue. Okay, let me check whether uh, parametric is working. Let me go here. Parametric is for this. Before I'll make 5 milli. Apply and yes, it is working. Okay, very good. So let me take the base behind. So now we got our cornish ready. Only thing what we have to do in this place, we have to place a dental. So right now I'm placing a dental. You can place any sort of designs over here you want. You can create any designs and you can create your cornish like this, a dental designing cornish. So this till here, I think you guys are very clear about it. Let me go move further. So I will make a dental. For making a dental, I have to again go for a file, I go for a new, I go for a family. Again, I'll go for English, double click English, then I'll go for metric model face base, double click, I'll get this page again. So I'll do extrusion, then I will take this. The okay, the height was 20, right? So I'll make and I do something like 50. I'll take 50. Okay, let me take it 50. I'll make it 50. Okay, and let me take the center of the. Okay, and height will be around 20. Okay, let me go and see how it looks in 3D. So, this is how it looks in 3D. Okay, very clear from now. So this is the okay. dental which I have created. So let me load this dental in my family one that is a cornish. So load in the project. I load in the project. So for the reference line, it will not work. I have to go in 3D to load it. <clears throat> so I'll be keeping my cornish over here. So, but I can see my corners is coming out. Right, let me check it out. What should be the now? One second. So I will align this line. Sorry, I will, I will align. I'll click this this line. Yeah. So I think it's big. So I want to make it 50. Right, half of this. You can see it's a half of. This. So I'll make it 50 till here. So let me double click this. I'll go back over here and uh, so where is it now? It is 66. Let me get 50. Clear. Yeah. So I will take all in center okay let me load into project again 
so it'll have to override the existing version yes so again i'll go align i'll tap this so i think it's perfect now so let me have a look in 3d but as you can see the dental i feel it's okay Let me have a look. Okay. Yeah, this kind of I think the dental is okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, so here we are. Let's go to reference level. So now again, we'll go R P. We'll make a reference this line. Okay, and now we have taken the reference line center of the dental cornish. So this fifty. So one second, I will measure it again. This reference line to this reference line is fifty, and I will lock it. Aligning wise, I'll align. This reference line to center of this, and I will lock it. So I got over here. Okay. So let's make a reference plane again over here. Sorry, RT reference pick up from your offset 50. Enter. So we'll have 50 over here. Two, three times escape. Then I will take a measurement from this line to this line. It's 50. It's 50, I love it. So I've got this way. So now after this step, right, we have got a dental over here. We have aligned the dental to center of this one more reference plane. We have locked this reference plane to this dental. We have locked this reference plane to this reference plane, right? So again, the same thing we have did. We have made a one more reference plane on your right different side. And we have locked it. So now the part is, We'll select this dental. We'll go for array. I'm going for array. We'll make a number of array we want four. It's the last constraint. Okay. Then we'll pick up this center. After picking up this center, we'll go to this part and connect to this center. So we got a four array over here. So now array do. So after clicking this. You have to come to non add parametric okay so when you come add you have to just i'll add as a numbers and m b e r f numbers so it's okay so let me make it maximum okay numbers so now we'll go to family type we have over here with five meters four so for this we have to add a formula if you want a continuous dental over here so that numbers the formula is if number values four is equal to width over here you have to be careful either you type exactly what it is or you just copy paste this i'll copy this width i'll give over here paste space divide by 50 okay then i'll apply it goes this way let me see what it is what exactly the problem over here we have it so i can see my dental or i can see the dental corners just just one about other touching one about other so what i will do i will not do anything else i'll just click the dental double click it and it will take me to the dental so let me make it a little more smaller so here i'll take little bit from this side i'll take it from this side okay then i will load away into project okay now it is exact so finish it so now you can see i've got my dental cornish so as you know this is my dental cornish ready so now right so let me 
implement this dental corners to my into my project so i will also show you how i implement this dental corners into my project so for that let us go for a file let's go for a new let's go for project okay let's go for year and metric architectural template okay project open hmm. is it level one i will draw a standard wall height make on eight location line baseline level everything clear so let me make a wall from year to year and then from year to side i'll just make one two side wall and i'll put a ceiling so you can easily see the cornice which i am applying on the wall so here comes my ceiling okay ceiling is okay what happened to my ceiling let me have a look where's my ceiling is gone okay it's gone to a lower level so i'll do one thing i will make it a level two and 0, 0.0 so that's the level two i'll make a height of top constraint i'll make to level two over here again this wall top constraint is unconnected i'll make to level two so here is my basically you can see this is my wall and this is my ceiling now i'll implement my ceiling over here so let's go back to our cornish it's over here right so i will load into a project so when i'll click this load into a project it asks me where i want to load i'll say i want to load the family seven so yes i'll click this okay so once i load I have to come back here. Uh oh, I did a mistake. Uh, sorry, load into a project, not family seven. I load to a project tool. So it was a project. Okay. There it comes, but I have to go for three d for implementing it. So I will just place my cornish over here. As you can see. <coughs> I have placed my cornage. Now my cornage has been placed. You can see the site elevation over here. I will show you in shade. Okay. So this is the cornage which I was talking about. Okay. So let me go in the lines. Okay. So I think you can have a clear look over here for a cornage which I was talking about. So this is the Cornish, okay, and the same way which are made over your dental, right? So mm -hmm. yes. So it not be accurate what I am drawing to us for this, but my theme, but my intention was just to show you all how we can make this kind of dental cornish. So in this way you can make it. And in place of this dental, you can place any of the design, the same manner which I have showed you. All right. And you can place a cornish, anything, whatever you can make it, and you can place it over here. So for now, thank you very much. I hope you understood my video. My explanation is very clear. If any problem with my explanation or you will not understand my language, please let me know. I'll try to go more slow and more clearly so you guys to understand more better way. For now, thank you. Have a lovely day.